Eh, that first fight don't count. We got muscles and the bug lady now. Hey, we're in this together, and Smart Money says it's gonna be a tough fight. Even in earnest, you underestimate. So, anything you can tell us about what we're up against will be a plus. We're all on the same team. We've gotta work together. I am in favor of this plan. Imagine ambivalent omnipotence drifting in darkness. Uh, speaking of dark. Such was my celestial solitude. Power without purpose, until uncovered by Raker. His crew were convalescent. Plagued by a pox, I was serendipitously suited to soothe. A ship full of sick people just happens upon someone with limitless healing? We were need and needed, symptom and solace. They worshipped the wonder of my ways and declared me divine. I think we know where this is going. I do not know where this is going. This is the scary part? As the flock of followers fawned, a dark delight developed deep within me. And in the shadows it spoke. Weak whelps, pernicious priesting, feeble fools, fit for feasting. Hubris made hunger. A cancerous craving called Magus. What did it want? Complete devotion. I too heard this voice, and could hear nothing else. Adulation. Flagellation, gorged with grief and consternation. I told you this was the scary part. It was pure putrefaction, sown from the seed of my strength. My soul stone gone sour. I resolved to rip it out. Rip it out? How? A mechanical marvel wrought by Raker would sever the stone from my skull and excise the evil entangled within. Translation. You let Raker steal your powers. Whatever his wayward wander, he was on that day my friend. He swore to separate sanctity from sin, that my healing could yet be harnessed without harm. Sure, but who's harnessing it? Sounds like you were careless. Deluded by desperation. My mind was melding with Magus. Did it work at least? In a savage sense? split my soul in twain and cast us to the cosmos. So, no. For me, there was only darkness. I awoke half whole, certain the stone shattered. How Magus merged with another, I know not. I think I can answer that. After I rejected my promise, I got pulled into Nikki's. Corral was there. She was trying to show me something. Peter, you can't trust anything you saw in there. This was different. And it felt different. She took me back to the QZ and I saw that Magus thing. I saw it get all twisted up with Nikki and I... I saw it kill Corel. You hear yourself? How'd she show you this if she's dead? Quite conceivable. Her soul may be snared by the stone. Chained to the child. That's what Corel said. The three of them are somehow connected. She said Nikki needs to accept her death. Magus preys upon her pain, manipulates her mind while feeding on her flock of followers. And I'm guessing it never gets full. Its appetite is insatiable. If unassailed, Magus will absorb all. We're gonna need one hell of a plan. Well, you better come up with it quick, because I see daylight. The bond between Magus and Matriarch must be broken. It harvests its hunger through the host. So... Nikki's like the head vampire. If we cure her, it'll free the rest. Why didn't you just say that? So step one, find Nikki. Step two, convince her mom ain't coming back from the dead. Step three, get that stone away from her and mop the floor with that Magus thing. You show no shortage of assurance. Yeah, this one's Mr. Positivity. It's enough to make you sick. The stone is both bondage and bridge for Magus, and a young mind is most malleable. If Magus is merged with her, she may not survive the severing. We won't let it come to that. Not to join the Golden Downer, but how are we supposed to find the kid? <laughs> what are you- What's going- Oh, Flark. Oh, Flark.
They can go anywhere, convert anyone. That sound like you're not coming with us. These are my people. Some still survive if I stay. Then we'll stay and help. Go. I'll be where I'm needed when I need to be. Dang. Just trust me. Don't go dying on me. I'm starting to actually get you. Papa Squat Golden Boy, you're making me nervous. Or perhaps your nerves need gnawing. What did I do? This precarious plan proves more meek by the moment. The Madonna was meant to be among us. She knows what she's doing. Eventually. What sorry sins I have wrought to rest me among such a motley crew. Did he? Did he take my room? Not so much as a yip from the mud. Groot says he'll keep trying. Where's Mr. Fancy Words? It is assumed Peter Quill's quarters. It was a daring display of dominance. Don't you start. Usually I'd say who needs him, but we do. So you better fix this one, Quill. Just try not to piss him off any more than he already is. If it is to be a fight to the death, I will honor the outcome. If he kills you, I get your guns. I wouldn't bet on Peter winning that fight. It took all five of us to beat him last time. I still can't believe he caught one of my smart bombs. Just like that. We have already fought the man. Hold on. You don't remember? I remember sparring against the Celestial Madonna in a small village. Hey, Quill. You... Uh, do I? Do you have a minute to fix my stuff, too? Sure. Okay, let's make some flarkin' cool stuff. And it's done! Ain't gonna get craftsmanship like that anywhere else. All set. Tell me if you need anything else fixed up. I'm all good for now. It's gonna be... Did you just... You have closed the refrigerator door. Yeah, I do that sometimes. I thought I was the only one who ever bothered. I thought I was the only one. I observed the tree closing at once. Glad you're back on our side, Drax. I got a feeling we'll need to go full destroyer on this one. I shall be ready, Peter Quill. I have witnessed the threat posed by Magus firsthand. No one should suffer from its malignant lies. I owe all of you a great debt of gratitude. It would be my honor to fight beside you with all of my might. That's a lot of might. <laughs> Groot agrees with you, Muscles. Sounds like we've got ourselves a nice church butt-kicking party. I only hope our guest agrees to join this buttock-striking celebration. explains why we ain't been able to reach Cosmo. If you don't answer it, they'll vaporize us. I will handle this communication. All 
yours, buddy. Deceased wife and daughter are with me. We thank the matriarch for her gift. May the promise be fulfilled. You are clear to land at the spaceport. Regiments, while we wait, whistling in the wings. Landing as fast as I can, Gold. What the flark? Great, Cocoon Boy thinks he's a butterfly now. He is a man of action. Let's just hope that he can keep the church busy while we look for Nikki. Didn't think you'd be able to bluff your way through security, Muscles. I am quite adept at deception. We're gonna need more than that to get to the Continuum Cortex and rescue Nikki. Especially with Golden Boy jumping ship. Should we, like, try to find him? Time is running out. We cannot lose focus if we are to save the girl. Drax is right. Let's just hope Warlock can do a bit of damage on his side. Let's do this. Time to save Nikki. Peter. Okay. Just be cool. Let me handle these guys. Welcome, travelers. Have you come to witness the fulfillment? The what now? The realization of the Matriarch's promise. The beginning of a new world. One without death, or pain, or fear. You should know this. Weren't you vetted and cleared to land here? What? Of course we were. How are you not aware of the fulfillment? Something is wrong. These heretics must be stopped! Attack! Another one! 
better pray their new world comes without death or pain or fear, because I'm gonna kill them for parking up this spaceport. They have been very busy redecorating. Scott! Cosmos Tower's shut down. That's because it's never been dark before. You do realize some of the guys shooting at us were nowhere security? This does not bode well for the dog. Never was the Mutt's biggest fan, but we could have used the backup telepath. This mission is about saving Nikki. It'll be a real shame if Cosmo bought into the... Like we said in Lamentis, if we cure her, we cure everybody. Kind of dreading what we're gonna see in the marketplace. The same thing we saw when we flew in. Yeah, but it'll be up close. Oh, I really stunk sometimes, but... Clark! Over there! There's so many of them. I thought most nobodies would have rejected the promise. Everyone wants something they can't have. You're right, Rocket. The people who lived here were rough. I once saw someone beat someone else to a pulp because they gave them a compliment. No way they'd willingly join up. A sword to the throw can be very convincing. So can the promise. They got Flark and Faith batteries everywhere. Just like on Hal's Hope. Perhaps they have built another giant ray gun inside the Continuum Cortex. To siphon Faith from multiple worlds at once? Is that even possible? The energy ain't filling these batteries. It's moving away from them. So they're powering something. Sure looks like it. Fanatics. I'll toast them if I see them. We're the only ones that can do this, right? Clear back here, Quill. Looks like you're gonna have to yank a chunk free from this side, though. If I can find a way over there. Any ideas, Gamora? I could probably get you up there. Gamora, you should be able to get your sword in there now. Give me a boost. Oh, Scott! It's not Mantlos. Look at her. This is personal. Peter, let's go! I know how much you love this dive. It was the one spot in this whole Flarkin galaxy where a guy could feel safe. I mean, except for the bar brawls and the security raids and the bounty hunters. We'll drink to it later. Right now, we've got to keep moving. There has been no sign of Goldie Bronze since he left from our ship. Adam Warlock. Might be splattered somewhere across the lower city. Or got picked up by a wandering creep squad. And yeah, what do we need the Golden Boy for anyways? We were doing fine without him. I was not fine. Magus was devouring my soul. Your memory is suspect. You know why we need Warlock to stop Sweet. Magus' space Sweet. magic ritual? 
We don't know space magic. Yeah, because that ain't a real... Enemies ahead, Peter Quill. Whoa. The Emporium used to be right here. Did the church destroy it? Doubt it. The Collector probably blasted out of here at the first sign of trouble. Before the first sign. The Collector's supposed to be able to see the future. Oh, yeah? Never saw me coming, that's for sure. Had no idea I'd bust Groot out of there. Looks like the church is trying to keep us out of there. That's not gonna work. Careful, Peter Quill. Guys, look down. It's an awful lot of light. You're thinking it's the full Flarkman, ain't you? But it could just be runoff from the cables. Whatever these whack jobs are up to, they need a lot of juice. Perhaps this is how they powered their fleet to reach Lamentus. Nah, the Cortex could... Maybe Raker's trying to reanimate the Celestial Head, bring it back to life. Perhaps he wishes to turn it into the ship. Bah, this thing's deader than dead. It ain't coming back and it ain't jumping through no hyperspace. Say Celestials are powered by hyperspace. Regardless, we must reach the Undercity to find the girl and stop whatever they are doing. And we'll have to be ready for them to try and stop us. Up on level, cooperation is invigorating. Become a formidable team. Yep, sure have, Drax. Ain't we just one big happy flark and family? What are you doing with that garbage? She's not garbage. You... good? 
Never better. Yep, definitely not good. Gamora, wait, hold on a sec. Why? So more children can be sacrificed in the name of Rager's flagged up church? Of course not, just... Just what, Peter? I don't know. Breathe. Every minute we waste. We don't have time to breathe. I know Raker brings back bad memories. This isn't about Thanos! It's about Nikki and what men like Raker and Thanos do to girls like her. Like me. My sister. If I had just been better at protecting Nebula, maybe... Maybe she wouldn't be dead. Whoa. What? Nebula's dead? How? By who? Tell me, so I can find him and shake his protecting hand. By me. killed your sister? She is the one you saw in the Matriarch's promise. That's how I knew it was a lie. The nebula I knew had been twisted into a hateful, vengeful monster thing. One who would never stop unless I stopped her. So I did. I just never expected to survive. Why didn't you say something? It's not exactly a conversation starter. Hi, I'm Gamora. I murdered my sister. Can we be friends? Of course we can't. How can you be friends with a monster? Why would you want that on your team? A team I actually... I kind of enjoyed being on, all things considered. Well, uh, I hate Nebula, so I actually would have... What? I'm just saying it don't change nothing. Actually, it changes everything. The most deadly woman in the galaxy just admitted... She loves us. <laughs> I did not. You did. You said you were in love with us right after the part about killing your sister. I said I enjoyed your company. That is the Katathian definition of love. Like. I I'll give you like. C can we just move on? Agreed. That's about all the love fest I can take. We accept you, Gamora Zenubri. Pretty sure we're married now. This is excruciating. All right, I'm pretty sure we've all caught our breath. What say we go stop a nut job cult leader? Yes. Try to 
reserve forces they can bring in here. We gotta shut it down! Let's get to the bridge. Cosmos Tower is the quickest way. Too wide to cross. Maybe we can bridge the gap. We keep saying bridge, and it's starting to sound like a made-up word. All words are made up. That seems long enough for a bridge. Unless it crumbles when it falls. Drax? I have been eager to topple something over. You know, I usually hated when that Cosmo spotlight would shine down on me, but now I kind of miss it. I did not know you were so sentimental. Really? A fate force field? If we can find the power source, we should be able to turn it off. Let's get looking then. See that kid in the ritual thing? I could not miss him. You think the church did that to his head? Or was the poor sucker born like that? That's it, Peter. Let's go. We need to get out of here before Raker shows up. All right, get ahead. <laughs> Guardians of the galaxy. The Matriarch has chosen to enact the fulfillment from this station. Then you shall not stop her. She hasn't chosen anything. You've been manipulating her from the start. She is the light. And I am merely her servant. Kinda hard to be the light with that dark monster thingy inside of her. Blasphemy! You may have rejected her promise. But you will when it returns you from death's cold clutches. Your pain has pushed you to a perilous precipice, old friend. You die. The form is fleeting, but the foundation remains forever. Now cease this stubborn senselessness before it reaps a ruinous reward. Ruinous. Get 
close to getting over! in the butt. Did you see the look on his face? It was all like, oh, my gilded glutes. Regal rear is perfect. They're giving up. Just in time, because we're not getting back on that bridge. I know where we are. There's a road nearby that intersects the main bridge to Cosmos. Where? It should be, uh, right below us. Always knew nowhere would get raided, but not like this. Thought it would be the world mine cracking down on him. We need to be on the other side of this thing. We're not getting over. Drax, buddy, let's make a hole. That's one way to end. The best way. Look, there's still a yeah, guy seems to be winning. This carnage brings back troubling memories of worlds I destroyed. 
Always wondered, what did you use to do that? Some kind of mega bombs? Rocket! Blades. My own hands. And feet. Knees. Elbows. Often my forehead. Anyone see a way across? Yeah, we can't do nothing with that sign in the way, Quill. Ba -ba -ba boom baby! You sure are destroying a lot of advertising today. Like we need another reminder to buy Calex cream. Warlock better not kill Raker before I get to him. I am eager to pull that sorcerer's insides to the outside. Oh, you gotta be farking kidding me. What's so special about Goldie anyway? I don't suppose Groot knows another side route. If I could just get to the other side, I could hack that thing and drop the bridge. If you can get to the other side, we can get to the other side, and it wouldn't matter. <sighs> Throw me. What? Throw me! Just get muscles to huck me across. Are you kidding? After the fit you threw last time? This ain't like the last time. You all... I trust you guys. Leave this to me! Whoa! Glad that wasn't rocket! You are a valued member of this team. I'll be tool to be thrown about. Worried about this ritual. And what's really gonna happen if we can't stop it? Ain't gonna be dead people coming back, holding hands and wagging tails, that's for sure. No. We won't have to worry about that. I know I can get through to Nikki. This is Raker's doing, not hers. I won't give up on her either. Nor will I. Yeah, and neither will the Grand Unicorn. He will regret it. How dumb are these Flartnards to even fall for this full Flarkment garbage? Magus demands adulation, trapping you with vile illusion while feeding on your soul. I felt it in my promise, too. That endless... hunger. Holy faith! All that light isn't leading to the Cortex. It is the Cortex. How could that mutt let this happen? Looks like you'll get to ask him yourself. This isn't going to end well. Cosmo! We've got to get down there! Don't count him out just yet. I've seen him get out of worse scrapes. The beast is being exposed to the promise! No! Take these off, people! Get away from my dog! Feel my wrath! Need your help here, buddy! I am laughing! Cosmo! Talk to us here! Start talking! Use your mind shot to help us out here! Retreat. And as much as I don't want to admit it, Groot's got a point. The odds are totally against us here, Quill. I don't care about the odds. I laugh in the face of gods. 
We're here, and we're ready to fight. So let's get back out there and light up the night with those creeps. Who's with me? We are! Great Why does the dog got body blaster? Nothing's wrong with him! doing he's one of them now he's our friend yeah so is drax and i ain't going inside this flea bag's head maybe it doesn't have to come to that hey buddy are you uh <laughs> Before it's too late. Wait! He's still in there. I can hear him. I hear only barking. Focus your mind. He's there. Uh. Oh, Fark it, just shoot the mutt! <laughs> Easy, bud. Friends, remember? He's beautiful. Cause no knows never lie. Yeah, buddy. It's me. It's all of us. Where is Cosmos smell? The smell of nowhere. Where else would we be? Fur brain. His mind is addled. Or he is simply a dog. He doesn't see us. He's still in the promise. Cosmo, where are you? What do you see? Blue sky and cars to chase. Cosmo is big. Duma, how you see? Home. He's talking about Earth. Smell of fresh grass. Feeling of dirt between paws. No psychic burden. Just walkies for going. And the ball for fetching. If you missed your home planet, could you not simply return at any time? Not at time that matters. Same reason Katarthia, not go home. Nowhere is your home. Right here and now. Nowhere is nothing. Dead heads, mind for scrap. It's way more than that. This place is special. I am good. If by met you mean I saved your bark, then... Yeah, we met here. It's true. Nowhere was first place since Earth. Cosmo not feel like stray dog. First time, Cosmo forget what was lost. This place is a haven for misfits like us. Like you. It's home. Earth is just some rock where you were born. It's not about rock. It's about what Cosmo had on rock. Foot of bed for sleeping, belly for rubbing, collar. You miss being someone's property? Cosmo not property. Belong to family. Then one day, family gone. Men in suits sent Cosmo into space. Cosmo searched many dog years for those he lost. But yet... You had owners. It sounds like they gave you up. Family would never turn back on Cosmo. I lost my family too. My mom died right in front of me when I was just a kid. Then Piotr Quill should know. Cosmo would work like dog to his family back. If they are part of this promise, these humans are most assuredly dead. 
Do not be swayed by the bribe of the return as I was. Promise is only empty until fulfillment be. Perhaps it's Katati who lost hope too quickly. <sighs> Come on, Cosmo, you gotta know this doesn't smell right. Pyotr Quill is right. Cosmo human have no smell. They are wicked perversions. You must bite them with all your might. Be gone! Cosmo not fit your lies. That's it, buddy. You tell him! Nowhere is Cosmo home be. His pups, his family, will protect it all cost. Sick him, boy! Should we help him? I mean, we may need him. I am optimistic for the beast's recovery. Cosmo's got his mission. We've got ours. Let's get to the Cortex. The way the church spreads their faith tech... All right, I still got access codes from when me and Groot were on vacation. You mean when you quit the team? Why do you always gotta be so... Flark! Attack and scratch snatchers! Gah! Cosmo changed the codes. I guess so. All right, people. Let's find another way through. Perhaps you entered...